want to welcome everyone that is here today in the world of Unique Relevance Christian Fellowship. This happened to be our first official service in 2021. And by the special grace of God, I'm going to be teaching from the theme of the year, which is 2021, my year of ever increasing brightness. So I use this opportunity to welcome everyone, those that are watching us online from YouTube and those that will join us from the Zoom world. I welcome all that are watching this very program right now, wherever you are watching us from. Amen. Emmanuel Mekizedek, by God's grace, the vision bearer of this commission. So without wasting further time, I'll just say a word of prayer and then go straight to the message of today. Dear Heavenly Father, we worship you, we reverence you. We give you thanks for the opportunity you have granted us, Lord, to be part of the living in 2021. Your mercy preserve us in all that happened in 2020. And here we are in 2021. Lord, we return praise this to you. As a ministry, as a family, we say, may your name be highly exalted. Amen. Lord, in the few minutes that we want to look into your world, Lord, let the light of your world saturate our heart. Amen. Let there be transformation. Lord, as many that will be hearing what you have for us, even this evening, wherever they are, ride on the chariot of this revelation to do miracles in their life. Lord, let situations, O oh Lord, be altered. Every of these situations, Lord, in the life of my listeners, I declare them altered by the power of your word. Amen. Lord, by the living life, the mystery you depended on to create everything, I declare a turn around in this meeting. Yes. Blessed be your name, faithful Father. Okay. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Like I said, the topic I'm preaching, or teaching from, is 2021, my year of ever increasing brightness. I will start by helping us to understand what brightness is all about. And uh, from the literal meaning of brightness, dictionary says that brightness means something that is full of light, something that is shining so strongly. And um, the consciousness that God gave me when he told me that the year is a year of ever increasing brightness, he helped me to understand that 2021 is solution-oriented. That is a year of result. That is a year of dominion. It's a year of power. So I'm talking about brightness from the concept of God, not from the literal understanding of brightness. Uh, we know the, the scenario of what happened before creation took place. When God appeared in the beginning of beginning, Bible said in Genesis 1 that everything was formless. There was confusion. There was chaosness. But God depended on his personal understanding of, his, of himself to command light to appear. And by the reason of the appearance of light, God started creating. What am I saying in essence? 2021 is a year that God is believing so much in man. God believes so much in us that there are things that he must depend on us to fulfill. There are a lot of problems here and there, but God gave me a consciousness that in 2021, people that will yield to his spirit, that will marry his word, that will have passion to study deeper in his word, that he is going to depend on them to bring lasting solutions to the problem that the earth and the present generation is facing. Hallelujah. Amen. So I, I, want to, I want to go further 
brightness, uh, the, the nature that God has is a bright nature. And all the people that are privileged to encounter God knows that God is a very bright spirit. And uh, me that is standing here by God's grace have been opportune to have the same encounter. And um, it's by the encounter that I have previously in the years that gave me a consciousness when God told me that the year is a year of ever increasing brightness. I'm very conscious about 2021 because I know that it's not an ordinary year. Hallelujah. Amen. So brightness is speaking about security. Brightness is speaking about rule. After God created, God commissioned or committed ruling power to bright bodies like sun, moon, and stars. And that's why there will be slowness in activity each time the sun withdraws. If the sun stops shining now, activities on that particular part of the earth will be limited. And I want to bring a consciousness that the difference between the night and the day is just because of the brightness of the sun. In other words, there is no difference between night and the morning. But the only difference between night and morning is the presence of the sun. But by the burning of the sun, that's what separates the night from the morning. So year of ever increasing brightness is talking about a year of separation that God is going to depend on the revelation that he will give to his people even in this commission to separate them among men. So not minding what may happen, the calamities that may happen in 2020, God is assuring us separation. God is assuring us security. God is assuring us divine provision. In light, there is no lack. And I want to encourage us, I'm just laying a foundation of this teaching. By the grace of God, this is a course that we are going to be studying throughout 2021. We don't have any other thing as a ministry to look at other than light. Hallelujah. So I will take us to a few scriptures to help us understand what I'm talking about. If you go to the book of Daniel, chapter 2, uh, from 18 to 30, when Nebuchadnezzar dreamt a dream, God showed Nebuchadnezzar what is, what is going to happen at the latter end of life. And when Nebuchadnezzar saw what he saw, he lost that very dream. Now, what caused Nebuchadnezzar to lose that very dream was because of the, the weight of the revelation. The weight of the dream caused Nebuchadnezzar to lose that dream. And uh, there is a secret, uh, something happened when Nebuchadnezzar lost that very dream. Nebuchadnezzar knew if you study that very place, I will not go into it today, I will go into it later. Nebuchadnezzar summoned all the wise men in Babylon. And when he summoned all the wise men in Babylon, the, the astrologers, the, 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 the Chaldeans, the soothsayers, all of them, the magicians, they were unable to, to tell Nebuchadnezzar or provide solution to the problem, which is the forgotten of the dream. Now, Nebuchadnezzar declared a decree that all the wise people in Babylon will be killed. And when the news came to Daniel, Daniel had to appeal with wisdom and then ask them to give him time that he will bring solution to the very problem. Uh, now, why I am talking in that very context? Now, Daniel, what helps Daniel to bring solution was because of the brightness of the soul of Daniel. 
And the secret of the brightness, that's why, you know, when the astrologers was talking to Nebuchadnezzar, they said to Nebuchadnezzar, what you are telling us to do is impossible. How can a man dream a, dream a dream, and then he himself that dreamed the dream, forgot the dream, and then he moved another man to tell him the dream. They said, King, live forever, but what you are saying is impossible. That the only person that can accomplish that is a God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is, there is uh, something, wow, but I'm feeling something so strong in my spirit. Because a man fulfills what they say that it's only a God that can fulfill it. Now, the realm of ever increasing brightness, God help me to understand there is a realm where He's waiting for men. God is waiting for men in the realm of ever increasing brightness to share everything that makes, makes him God with them. Daniel proved that a man can function in the room of God. So the year 2021, there's a consciousness that God is bringing to everyone that is part of this commission. And I'm bringing it as the pioneer of this vision. There is a year we should not look down on ourselves. When it's a year that we should start placing high, we should start placing high value on us. We should know that on earth, that God is counting on us. God believes so much in man. And God is, is so much demanding that we should yield ourselves to him. Because there are so much God has conceived in his heart. But he can't accomplish it if there is no vessels. And I want to tell you that you and me are vessels that this generation needs. Just like Daniel. Daniel provides solution in his own time. And I want to tell you that is hearing me this evening that you are the Daniel of this millennium. So what we need, and that's the essence, that's the consciousness God gave me, what we need is to start developing a personal thought fellowship. When Daniel had the case, Daniel knew that he has a source and he has to fall back to his source. Hallelujah. I will continue in that story to open our eyes more. And like I said, I said that this course is a course that is going to last for one year. I will only read these two scriptures and then I will summarize the message. I am reading the book of Psalm 18 from verse 12 and 28. The book of Psalm 18. There are so many scriptures we have, but we, as we progress in this course this year, so many things we are going to explore a lot. Psalm 18, from verse, verse 12, and then I will jump to verse 28. It says, At the brightness that was before him, his thick cloud passed. Hellstone and cause of fire. 28 says, For thou wilt light up my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. I will advise us in our personal time, we should go and study this very particular scripture. Uh, there is a lot to learn uh, in this very topic that I'm sharing in that scripture. I'm quickly reading the book of Habakkuk, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse, verse 4, Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 4, like I've said earlier on, and of course, I want to tell everyone that is listening to me from wherever you are listening from or watching from, even those that will watch later, that this year, God is going to reveal himself to us. And um, when that encounter comes, you will understand better what I'm saying. 
Because God is a bright spirit. And um, any time we talk about brightness, in a way to help us to understand, I want us to know that brightness is talking about knowledge. Revelation, brightness is talking about revelation. And revelation, uh, revelation is talking about secrets that are revealed. Anytime you hear about revelation, it's simply talking about a secret. Either a secret, a secret particularly uh, that a spirit has, and uh, which the spirit later reveals to men. And um, every revelation that a spirit reveals to a man, that spirit will depend on that revelation to share power with that very man. So in 2021, when you hear ever increasing brightness, I'm simply bringing a consciousness that there are things, there are revelational knowledge that God is going to bring across to us. There are secrets that God, through fellowship, that we are going to develop this year, will share with us. And from that very revelation, the testimony of Exodus 7, 1, where God said to Moses, he said, See, I have made you a God. Now, 2021 is a year that all the people that are on earth, those that their relevance will come. Of course, you know this, the word of unique relevance, Christian fellowship. So we are conscious. We are conscious of, of this very message. We are conscious of this mandate. All the people that they are relevance we count in this millennium are men that knows too much are men of infinite intelligence are men that have that consciousness the i am conscious that when god created man that god committed the rule to man and the man that he committed the rule was not an ordinary man hallelujah I, I, let me read lastly and summarize where I put it, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 4. Now, Habakkuk, the prophet, have the privilege to encounter God. And this is testimony when he encountered God. He said, His brightness was as the light. He had a home coming out of his hand. And there was, and there was the hiding of his power. The hiding of his power. I have, like I have said earlier on, brightness is talking about power. So it's a realm of power. It's a realm of dominion. It's a realm of bringing lasting solution to the glory of God. God help me to know that the only assignment I have on earth is to bring lasting solution to me. And that's why he told me that I am a voice of everlasting solution. So I'm talking to you from an I am consciousness that I'm a voice of everlasting solution. And I want you in 2021 to grow a consciousness that this year is not a year to complain over problem. It's not a year to mumble. It's not a year to cry. It's not a year to follow the crowd. It's not a year to accept everything that both the government will, will publish in the newspaper or give uh, as an announcement or make as a law. But it's a year for us to be committed to what God is saying, to be committed to the word of God. God's word is a lie. Like David said in Psalm 119, verse 105. So, dearly beloved, I want to stop so far, and uh, by the grace of God, by this time, next week, of course, our days of activities, Wednesdays, and uh, Saturdays, Sundays, uh, we will be, will be on, and by the grace of God, on YouTube, on, on uh, all our social media platform, uh, you'll, be, you'll be receiving all the information that God have for us in 2021. So I want to thank you so much for devoting your time to hear, to, to listen to me and hear what God is saying concerning this time. Remain blessed as we meet 
next week. God bless you. Before we wrap up, I would like you to just take some few prayer points that you are going to be praying in this very year, 2021. One of the capital prayer points that among everyone that is hearing me should take note of is to ask God to saturate your soul with brightness. Now, in the book of Third John, there's a revelation here. Bible said that both health and wealth answered to the brightness of a man's soul. And this is the, the capital vision mandate and statement of this commission. In 2021, we are looking at transforming destinies of men and the soul enlightenment. So I want you to pray as ask God to enlighten your soul. Because whatsoever you are looking for and whatsoever you are going to have in 2021 will answer to the brightness of your soul. The Lord bless you as you keep tuning to our YouTube channel and Primanuel Mekizedek is the channel uh, our YouTube channel and uh, in our Zoom wall, I will be sending across the password of each of our meetings. So I want to thank you all from wherever you are watching us from and wherever you are hearing us from. God bless you richly. This is the word of Unique Relevance Christian Fellowship. We say that the Lord will preserve you and cause his light to keep shining upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen.